Greetings, welcome to the session once again. We are looking at question four. So for this question, we are required to find the unit normal of the hyperboloid, which is given by that equation at this point. And we are also required to write down the equation of the tangent plane. So what we first need to figure out is exactly what is our function. And if you are given an expression like this, all what you need to do is your function will be what you see. You just transpose it to one side such that the other side has zero. And that side which has zero will have our function. So if you look at this problem, it will be x squared plus 2y squared minus z squared minus 8. This becomes our function. And obviously, since they are speaking of unit normal, I told you that the normal vector when they speak of tangential planes, the normal vector will be given by our gradient of the vector, of the function we are working with, not the vector, sorry. So the first place we should start from is by looking for the grade of our function phi. So as you can see, it depends on x, y, and z. So I'm going to go and find our grade that way. So we have x squared plus 2y squared minus z squared minus 8. By now you should be comfortable with using that the grade operator. So I will have when I derive with respect to x, 2x. When I derive with respect to y, I'll have 4y. With respect to z, I'll have 2 minus 2z like that. So that is our grade of phi. But when I look at the question, they further tell me that this is at the point 1, 2, negative 1. So meaning I need to evaluate my grade at that point. So let's go ahead and do exactly that. So our grade at x is 1, y is 2, and z is negative 1. What we are going to get will be 2 into 1, 4 into 2 and minus 2 into minus 1 like that so you will see that our grade at that point which we are given will simply be 2 8 and 2 that is what we have so we need to first find the unit normal so the normal vector we can clearly see that it will be 2 8 and 2 the unit normal vector or the unit normal what i need to do is to take this vector and make it to be a unit vector essentially divided by its magnitude so i'll name that nu which means for unit vector so i'll have a 2 8 and a 2 divided by the square root of or the magnitude first of 2 8 2 like that so if you look at what is going to happen is we are going to have 2 8 and 2 divided by the square root of 2 squared plus 8 squared plus 2 squared so our answer will simply be our 8 squared becomes 64 and then 64 plus another 4, that becomes 68, plus another 4, that becomes 72. So this becomes our unit normal vector. So we are done with that. Now let's go to the equation of the tangent plane. So we need to clearly detail exactly what do we have. So what we have, number one, is a point, which was given as 1, 2, negative 1. And what we also have, which will assist us, is the normal vector, which, will, which is equal to 2, 8, and 2. 
So we only need these two to be able to find the equation of the plane. So it will be x minus the x coordinate of the point which we have, which is 1, y minus the y coordinate of the point which we have, which is 2, z minus the z coordinate of the point which we have, which is minus 1, so that will be plus 1. Then we dot it with the normal vector and we equate that to 0. So if we dot, you will see that we will have 2x minus 2 plus 8y minus 16 plus 2z plus 2. This should be equal to 0. And if you observe carefully, there's some cancellation here. And we need to also transpose some of the terms to the other side. So we'll have 2x plus 8y plus 2z equals 16. And if you look carefully, we have a common factor. So we can go and actually divide by 2. So if we divide by 2, you will see that we will have x plus 4y plus z equals 8. And this is the equation which we are looking for. It is the equation of the tangential plane. So that is the equation Of the tangent plane. That is how you find it. I urge you to go and revise some maths 1043 or some fundamental mathematics if you got confused here.